Okay, I wanted to talk about something that I find interesting, and since it was the topic uh, in class yesterday, I want to talk about waves. Uh, I originally thought about doing this video and doing some animations and stuff on the screen, but I don't have time to do that, so I figured I'd just talk, and hopefully you guys can use your imagination to visualize what I'm talking about and how waves are really important and they're in our everyday lives, right? So let's talk about waves. We'll start off there, and actual waves like at the beach, you have the water waves, right? So I think that's a great visualization because waves are waves. Waves are the shape of something, right? So we've talked about sound waves, but we can also have water waves and it's just how the molecules of water move, right? So if you have a big, tall wave, it has a lot of water in it. It has an ample amount of water. That would be the amplitude. But when you're on the shore, right? The waves come in, the water goes out, another wave comes in. How frequent the water comes in would be the frequency. That's how fast the waves are moving. Can the frequency affect the amplitude? Yes, if we have one wave coming, but then another wave comes in faster, they're gonna combine and increase the amplitude of the wave. The same is with sound. If I was to hit a note on a piano, it makes a certain frequency, and depending on how hard I hit, it's going to have a certain amplitude or volume. But if we have two pianos and we both hit the same key, those are gonna combine and actually make it louder. This is important when you're mixing music as a musician, you don't want it to become noise. So you have to adjust the volume. Not only do we have the water waves and sound waves, we also have electrical waves, electromagnetic waves. Think about radios. When you're listening to the radio, you have way FM. What's the FM? Frequency modulation. You also have AM channels. Those are amplitude modulations. That's what those stand for. And basically these signals are being sent out and one is designed to use the frequency to send the signal where the other one's using the amplitude, the power of the signal. So that's the difference between those two things. I mentioned this in class yesterday. When someone's playing music, you can hear all the frequencies, right? The high pitch and the low pitch. But if they get further away, you tend to just hear the bass, the lower frequencies. This is because the bigger waves tend to penetrate things more than the higher waves. They tend to get deflected. And that's true with all waves, right? Let's talk about the sky being blue. Does that have to do with frequency? Yes, so our eyes can see light, right? Can see colors. Colors are just frequencies of electromagnetic waves. And different frequencies are recognized by our eyes as different colors. And the spectrum goes from and ultraviolet to red. Ultraviolet, these are going to be faster, higher frequencies, where red is a lower frequency. And that's why when sunlight comes through our atmosphere, the blue light, which is a smaller frequency, tends to get scattered because it's a shorter frequency. And that's why our sky is blue because that shorter wavelength is being deflected around where the bigger wavelengths project right through. So that's the same as with sound. The lower frequencies, the bigger waves, tend to travel further, and you can hear the bass further away, where the higher pitch stuff tends to get dispersed out. So there's another thing. So we're talking about colors in our eyes. Did you know that the light that we see, the different colors of different frequencies, is the same thing as radio waves? It's just a different frequency. There's a large span of frequencies, and our eyes can only see a small section of them, but they're the same thing. On one end, you have ultraviolet rays, X-rays, radio, you know, all these radioactive waves. That's why they're radio waves. Then we have the color spectrum we can see, and then we have infrared waves, right? So I should have grabbed a remote. So if you look at most remote controls for like a TV, there's a little LED on the end. When you press a button and you look at the LED, you don't see anything. LED is just a little light bulb, right? If I was to have one right here and I was to point it at the camera, this camera would see it. That's just outside our visual range of being able to see, but it's still light, but so is a radio wave. I don't know if most people know that, that radio waves and the light we see are the same thing, just different frequencies, either higher or lower, or, or that we use for communication, for music and whatnot. That would be a lower frequency than what our eyes can see. Oh, let's talk about something else. Wi-Fi, everyone loves Wi-Fi. You wanna go someplace and get on the internet, you gotta to connect to the Wi-Fi. Well, you'll probably notice that most routers nowadays, most wireless routers work on both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Some people may not know why, and which is better? 
Is five gigahertz better? Well, five gigahertz is newer, so it's a higher frequency, which means it sends more waves in a shorter amount of space, which means it can be faster than a 2.4 gigahertz. And it is newer, so why do we still have a 2.4? Well, there's, there's two reasons. One, backwards compatibility. You have older devices that don't work with the five gigahertz, so you still have the 2.4, so those older devices work, but does that mean that five gigahertz is better? Yes and no. Five gigahertz can be fast, but the 2.4 can go further and through walls better. So if you're further away from the router, 2.4 gigahertz is actually going to work better because again, it's a lower frequency, so it's bigger waves and it doesn't get deflected just like the blue light in the sky or sound with the bass coming through. Higher frequencies tend to get disrupted easier than the lower frequencies. So 2.4 gigahertz, you might be able to get out in the street where the five gigahertz, you may not. So depending on where you are, one might be better than the other. I feel like there was more I wanted to say, but I feel like that was a good amount. These are things that you can see in your life every day. Just thought I'd share. Have a great day.